Hello. Today I'd like to show you how to build a speaker. Now this is a kit that I got from Amazon and I will put a link to the product in the description below. So check that out if you're interested. It comes with uh, the drivers which actually look pretty decent. I'll go ahead and pull the rest of the stuff out. It comes with the uh, cables. Looks like some bolts and nuts. You can see the PCBs in here. And there's some components, resistor, LEDs, potentiometer, things like that. So it should be pretty challenging. And it also comes with uh, some Lexan pieces here, pre-cut. Let's get started. Oh, real quick first. Uh, these are some tools I assume I'm going to need. I'm not actually sure yet, but here's a soldering iron. This is my favorite soldering iron. I've had this thing for a really long time. Um, this is... This is a Radio Shack model, but this is actually an ISO tip. I'll have a link to this in the description if you want to check that out. Need some solder, lighter to light the iron. Uh, probably need this for the soldering iron, and maybe a screwdriver, and maybe some wire cutters. Don't know yet though. Oh. Also, more importantly, it does come with instructions. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. Oh boy. Okay, it looks pretty straightforward. Hmm. Nice diagrams here. Oh, they're identical. So, must be for each driver. It's not a whole lot of stuff I gotta solder like a capacitor, some resistors, looks like you might have to make the make the cable. Yeah, here's the other part of the cable. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Let's take a look at those drivers. Um, look pretty decent. I think it says 3 watt on there. 4 ohm, 3 watt. Cool. Get the iron started up here. These surface mount chips are so much easier with solder paste, by the way. But, um, see the dots on that corner? And the board indicates pin 1 there on that side. I think it'll work. All right, this chip has a notch right there and not on that side. And the notch is indicated on the board here. So that means it goes in like that.
these, you gotta just kind of like cut into it a little bit and then check it and see how deep you went. Cause you don't want to go too too deep where you cut the wires on the inside. And sometimes if you just put a little slice in it, you can kind of break them apart. Soft enough. Then you just pull it off, and you double check and make sure you didn't cut into any wires. Look good. Never feels right to cut these off. Probably use that for some in the future. Shouldn't have made those shorter. So now this circuit board has to connect to this circuit board. All right, well, at least all the soldering is done. Got the speakers connected to the circuit boards. Got all the components on the PCBs. All the wires, plugs, all of this is done. The next thing to tackle is going to be this, which did not come with instructions.
Didn't wasn't expecting a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm thinking and that goes in here. I'm thinking maybe I should mount the speaker first. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna gift this to someone. I think it'd make a really cool gift. So I can tell them, hey, I even made this. If you know somebody who likes to build things like this, it would be a good good gift as a kit too. I think it'd make good, uh, like maybe laptop speakers is what I'm thinking. Oops. Let's try these out. Oh, they work. And the LEDs are in the correct orientation. Huh. They sound pretty good. turned out pretty good. The cases are actually pretty solid and sturdy. They sound pretty good. They look pretty cool. really liked how these uh, turned out. Well, let me know what you guys think. These are, I think these are worth building. They're pretty neat. They sound a lot better than my laptop speakers. Um, I will put a link to this kit in the description, so check that out. And then also I will put links to some of the tools that I used. And uh, please feel free to leave comments, uh, ask questions. I read all my comments. I'd be happy to hear from you. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.